Okay, let's go through the plan again. Sure. I deactivate the underwater mines. We get the keys to the prison. We rescue the prisoners, open the hangar door, and out we go. Outside? That's the problem. We are outside. I'm not worried about the mines. My concern is, how do we get inside? Guys, you there? We were just thinking about you. Did you get the security papers? Yes, but you'll have to disguise yourself as an official and drive the others into the base with a vehicle. It seems to me that it is going to be as difficult getting in as it will be getting out. Hey, you guys, here's the good news. Do you have the whistle? Yes, we all have it. Good. You meet our new colleague. I'm sure the Green Beret will be over the moon. He's not with us, but we can call him using the radio later on. <laughs> there are some nice segues actually in this game. Like the dog would be uh, pleasing to Green Beret, but Green Beret is not here, so <laughs> let's do a segue to his part of the mission. All right, now. Let's see. Deactivate the underwater mines. That's actually the easiest objective we have. Probably in this game. Let's get the diver. Put on his diving suit. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you do that, he can go underwater and breathe indefinitely. Let's go ahead and deactivate all the mines. I'm actually curious why we even need to do that. Because... I do not really need to cross with the boat over to this side. Maybe the game was expecting me to do that. Or the developers. People do tell me in the comments a lot of times that I'm uh, I'm finding weird solutions to uh, the commandos missions often. And it is true because I usually like to play stealthily. And I usually explore the entirety of the level. I'm trying to find out faster ways to complete objectives and uh, yeah, crossing this line with the boat is definitely not a fast way to complete things. Alright, I'm gonna go kind of in the center before I emerge because I do not want anybody to be able to see me. To deactivate the underwater mines is still incomplete. Interesting, did I miss one? Oh, I missed one. <laughs> okay. One last mine. All right, now we get sh should get the check mark. Excellent. Find the prison key. We do have some clues. Cut the barbed wire and deactivate the landmines. We're probably going to have to do that at some point. There's actually, let me show you. As soon as I emerge. As I read the objectives, I think it might be beneficial for you guys to actually see as easy as pie. what is being talked about. So let's rotate the level a bit. There's like two sides of the level. You can access land from this side. Or this side. Both of them have barbed wire and landmines protecting them. You do not need to do both. Actually, I think some people try to go to this place because there is a side objective coming up. We need to blow this later on in the mission. But for me, I'm just going to go around this side because this is... Let me show you. Uh, we cannot see him, but there's an officer somewhere around here with a car. And we're going to use his uniform to get in with our spy. Spy is going to be like the most crucial commando in this uh in this mission on the case all right let's get in because i think only the diver can drive the car what well, the car <laughs> the boat all right now let's go over on this side with everybody hold on as i crash my uh my boat into an invisible wall you can see we have a safe passage here so let's take that I'm going. By the way, this guy, he will see the boat in the uh, 
dark green zone. He will not see you if you're swimming, though. That's uh, one cool detail to keep in mind. And actually, we need to bring the supper here. Tell me. No problem. So now, as I've said, the uh, plan is to cut through the barbed wire and reach the entrance here. That's where we're going to enter with our spy. Okay. There's no more real danger here. This guy, I don't think he, he can see anything. Yes. So this guy is the only one concerning right now. On my way. Let's cut through the fence. As soon as we do that, we're going to have to be watchful for mines. There's going to be quite a lot of them, if I remember correctly. So let's take baby steps here. Yes. If you do not take baby steps, you're probably going to just walk onto a mine and it will explode. <laughs> Even if you have the mine detector out, so be careful of that. No problem. I'm just going to give it a wide berth here, deactivate as many as I can, no so that problem. we do not step on them inadvertently. Phew. I'm sure there's quite a few more in this side. That's it. It's done. Now, that looks to be the last of them. There's probably one more over here, just in case you cut this uh, barbed wire. Yes, sir. Oh, there's one here. Okay. Let's deactivate that as well. Let's be thorough. Phew. All right, now. Now, though, I it's think done. we are done with this side. This side is going to be a bit more tricky. Because we need to deactivate mines and also take care of that guy. Let's so we're go. gonna have to uh, time our actions. It's done. So let's get the metal detector out quick. Spot some mines. All right, we have time to deactivate one of them, I think. Phew. All right, let's see. Wow, that's a lot of mines. Okay. Now let's duck, because this guy is going to see us. As soon as he's done with his round here, then we're going to go ahead and deactivate maybe these two mines. Cut through this barbed wire. On my way. Okay. That's it. Oh, wow. He almost saw me, actually. It's done. Do we have enough time to do that, or was it a bit stupid of me? Phew. He actually didn't turn and face me, so that's why I... Yes. I think I was kind of lucky. If he started his, uh, his route by turning this way, he would have definitely seen me. All right, now next step. We're obviously going to cut through the wire. And probably punch this guy as well. This is very much Let's going go. to be a supper mission. Okay, go down now. Phew. So he doesn't see us. Quick, wasn't it? I'm gonna wait for him to start his rounds now. I don't think anybody can see him in this corner. Let's see. It's ready. There's a guy here. He doesn't look that far away. Oh, and you know what? Now we can get a uniform for the German, actually. So let's actually bring everybody ashore. Yeah. Why not? Let's bring the entire team. We can. Oh. 
On my way. Done. I think we can actually stand. That guy is not gonna see us, right? Any yeah, he's things? looking too far away. Let's be careful not to step on the mines. <laughs> that would be mighty unhealthy. Let's go. Now, hopefully, there aren't any mines on the other side. I believe there aren't. Let's take the German. Done. Get us some clothes, some German clothes. Even a simple soldier. You can use that to talk to people. If you have a higher ranking uniform, you can actually direct them to go to places or to look a certain way. All mine. All right, actually, let's see. What's the objective now? These are the clues. Pass the security papers to the spy using the dog. Okay, cool. Actually, let's do that. Let me show you how the dog works as well. Why not? Yes. All right, so hopefully we are with a dog here. Excellent. Okay. So we can... Open his inventory, give him the ID papers. We could actually give him the cigarettes as well. I don't think Lupin is gonna participate too much in this uh, in this mission from now on. And now, switch the German. Yes. And he should have a whistle. Yes. Now, did the dog hear it? Let's see. Or is he trapped inside the house? I think we first have to exit this building and then the dog can hear uh, our whistle. You've got the right man. So let's see. Oh, hold on. What is this guy watching? Oh, he's actually not watching, which is good. Don't bat an eyelid. Come on. All right, let's hide in the corner for the time being. And now the German can probably call him. Yeah, see, the dog comes running. Nobody even uh, cares about a dog. Always ready. And now we have effectively transferred items between two commandos that are kind of cut off as it stands. All right, good spot to save. All right, now, now that we have a uniform, what's our next objective? Probably to get a better uniform. Steal a vehicle, enter the base disguised as an official. All right, so now we need to find one. I think there should be, yes, you can see there's a car here and an official, hold on. Sorry if I'm making you kind of dizzy by rotating the screen constantly. So that official here, obviously we need to eliminate the people watching him first. That guy looks like a uh, very good target for cigarettes. So let's hide. Let's first hide our team somewhat. I'm gonna use the German on this guy probably. I'm gonna go behind the door and uh, make it so that this guy is talking to me facing the wall. Essentially putting him out of all of the action entirely. And after the other guy, first actually, Order, let's move these guys out of the way so that nobody can see them. And that body, oh, I think the enemy could see this body. Hold on. Anything else? Let's actually use the supper to hide the body. Let's put it here, maybe. And I'm gonna do the killing using the. Uh, Using the diver, how is he called? Fins? Yes, Fins. I usually like to use a Tiny, that is the Green Bearer. If you know him like that. I usually like to use the Green Bearer to do my killings, but in this case, we do not have a Green Bearer. At least not yet. He's gonna parachute in at some point. Alright, some nervous saving there. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Hold on, we have some cigarettes? Yes. All right, let's throw them as far in this corner as we can. Mm -hmm. Let's have the knife at the ready. Yeah. Excellent.
Und ah, now let's hide this guy. Aha. Let's take the cigarettes back, actually. Might come in handy, you never know. Let's go. Aha. Uh -huh. Right now. All right, now, now that we've taken care of this guy, maybe we can take care of him as well. Yeah, you know what? He doesn't look like anybody's watching him. Should be able to kill him At your service. right away. Now, he might be looking towards him. Yes, but we can time that. I don't think he's gonna linger for too long there. If you like. We should have clear air pretty soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, hold on. Wow, that was close. <laughs> Can I actually hide him behind the door? Right now. That is a cool hiding spot. Opening a door and having a corner like that. Interesting. All right, now the German takes over. Or actually, hold on. Not the German. Right now. I should do this with Fins. One more time. Why not? Get close to this guy. Steal the uniform. Because I can kill him. Yeah. With Fins. With a German. Well, not German. Why am I calling him yes. German? How is he called? Spooky. With Spooky, I cannot uh, actually incapacitate him. I'm going. Ah, uh, that was too much. Okay. Let's do that again. In a moment. I thought I could run for a bit, but I shouldn't overdo it. Yeah. The car actually does provide some cover. Uh -huh. So he's not, he might not see me. Excellent. Yeah. Now I think people can see him over there though. Yeah, so let's wait it out a bit. Let's wait for him to come in this region it's somewhere. Not. All right, now, now is the perfect opportunity. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to put him behind the car just in case. You never know when somebody will uh, inadvertently Easy see him. Boy. Take his clothes. That's the most important thing. Oh, not like that, though. Hold on. Some cigarettes. Why not? And now we're going to give those to the German. To Spooky, sorry. He's actually not even a German. I think he's a French guy that speaks German. Yeah. Now, probably nobody can see me here. I don't know if I should be mm -hmm. that careful. Now, you don't need that anymore. Ah, I cannot dispose of it. Interesting. What? Let's see. It. Maybe if I open his inventory. I cannot get rid of it. Oh, I cannot get rid of it because he's wearing it, obviously. <laughs> All right, now we have a young uh, uh, officer's uniform. Now, hopefully, yes, we can uh, get rid of this. And steal a vehicle. That is a funny part of this mission because actually this serves no purpose at all. And you complete this by simply entering the vehicle and exiting again. I don't know why the developers put that in. Maybe they expect that you can uh, drive up to this way, but nobody opens the door if you drive this way, so it's not really important. And now I think we're going to get a check mark. Yes, still a vehicle. Enter the base. This guy's as an official. It's as easy as walking in. Oui. No locked doors along the way, so we should be perfectly fine <laughs> to just straight waltz in. All right, that should give us a check mark now. Yes, all right. Uh, now, find the prison key. The prison key. This guy is going to have it, I think. He's uh, sort of a lieutenant. So we have to go up here and try to uh, knock him out and get his key. I could actually do most of the mission 
only using Spooky, like by pure stealth. But this is not going to be very viable down the road, so I'm going to start bringing in some team members very soon. Hold on, though. I cannot bring them this way, I think. Yeah, it's going to be kind of difficult. You know what? I'm going to go in with Spooky, and I'm going to, when I need to actually kill somebody, I'm going to bring in uh, the Green Berry. Okay. He's going to be coming later on. For now, though, we need to go to this building and take the key from that guy. Oui, monsieur. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not uh, running, <laughs> obviously if I run, the Germans are going to know I'm in disguise, so we do not want to do that. Oui. Simply walk. Alright, now, there are a couple of guys up here. I don't think they're gonna be too distracting. This guy doesn't see anything. This guy, maybe. Yeah, this guy is difficult. Hold on. Where doesn't he see? He doesn't see over here. Anybody else? Where does this guy see? Oh, wow. <laughs> this is actually a perfect spot. Right here. Interesting. Let me see that again, because that's a very narrow margin of error. Your service. So now we're going to have to wait for this guy to come to me. And then I'm going to use the syringe. Do I have? Yes, I have three so shots. Nice. You actually need two shots. That's kind of deceptive, the fact that it says uh, three down here. Because you need two shots to put an enemy to sleep. So three shots is as good as uh, just one in this case. Okay, hold on. Do I need to bring him over? Oh, no, I cannot. Interesting. Oui. That is interesting. Why can I not command him? Oh, you know what? I don't need to. I have cigarettes. All mine. Let's do that. It is much more satisfying anyway to, uh, <laughs> to draw the enemy's attention with cigarettes. All right, and as soon as he comes... We are in the perfect spot where nobody can see us, I think. Going there. Like, we literally just found a blind spot. All right, let's time up, though. And I'm just going to leave him here. Hopefully nobody ever discovers him. There's the keys. Excellent. Now that we have the keys, we can enter this... Uh, well, we can enter various things. 